What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second game for tonight. This is the Elsa League tournament. We're going to see Legion of Mephisto versus Villains. So the first the, the first ban phase seems to be a bit weird. Naturally, uh, sorry, tonight I am joined by Mr. Mad Hatton sitting next to me. We'll be bringing you the rest of this game, play by play, action by action. And bringing you the w the winning team, hopefully, by tonight. So, Legion of Mephisto versus Villains. The first ban phase, pretty standard. The Shadow Shaman, Doom, and Drow Ranger from Villains. They definitely have meta bans in there. The Omni Knight, Bloodseeker, and Silencer bans out for Legion of Mephisto. Which which kind of pointed to the Abaddon going out. We're probably going to see something like, um, you know, the big ultis coming out again. The Echo Slam or the... Uh, reverse polarity so very good bans from them the nyx assassin from villains making sure that that mid laner that they pick up for legion is going to have a hard time and wind ranger is this the mid wind ranger with the nyx assassin going to be just uh, sort of in your face whoever you pick against us is going to have a hard time because of the nyx assassin this is this is interesting you know, it could potentially be a safe lane nyx assassin and wind ranger i mean you're looking at the distance um arrow shots and then I stun off um, two stuns, especially if they are looking at laning together. Yeah, if you have the shackle as well. Yeah. So very good pickup from villains. Both these heroes. I mean, naturally, Nyx Assassin goes a bit more in the off lane. Center War on mm. being, being picked up for Legion of. Has the no for Wind Ranger. So that is uh, naturally, and the Abaddon is actually very good uh, 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 in the same lane. But Abaddon is more going to be in the uh, in the safe lane to. Keep the carry alive. Keep the core alive. Give it with the you, you have the apothecary the apothecary shield, so you have to utilize it in that lane. Not yeah. necessarily wanting to push, but if you are in the off lane, the shield also helps with the push because you put it on a hero, put it on a creep, and then the the creep wave starts pushing as well, which seems to be quite good in the current meta because you want to be able to secure the triangle farm for your for your mid laner or for your carry, so you don't want to lose that tier one tower too soon. I mean, before they start farming there, yeah. Exactly, exactly. With the miscall alone on Abaddon, it, it, it can cause yeah. a few problems, you know. Because, I mean, in the current updates that's going on now, I mean, Abaddon really is a great lane pusher as well, especially yeah. as a great support. Definitely. You know, it's very malleable. So the next band for Legion of Mephisto, it has to be some sort of core that they don't want to see picked up now. Uh, it's, it's you know, the Chaos Knight is still even in the pool for Villains. Villains, naturally, having something like a Chaos Knight is good. The Earthshaker is still in the pool as well. They'll probably look to ban that. Next, um, and heroes like the Earth Spirit, probably not going to be banned out, although we did see in the previous game, it did play a very good role. However, the team still lost. It it, it did do its job, especially with the rotations. So the Marana ban is... is a bit different from Legion of Mephisto. It's it tells me that they want a team fight, or they want to they want to make sure that when they fight, they they know exactly where the enemy team is. Yeah. And they don't want to get ganked on by the Marana alt. They don't want to waste a lot of resources gaining um, sentry wards and all of that. So the Razor is going to be the ban. Now the Viper is also still in the pool, but uh, we did see it picked up a bit early in the previous draft, but naturally the mid laner seems to be the focus for the last picks. However, mm -hmm. this is a core support, core support pickup for both these teams. It could still be the off lane Wind, Wind Ranger with the Nyx Assassin. I'm hoping to see a more definitive role picked up now. It could still be the Queen PL. You know, Queen of Pain. Well, you you ban out the Kunkka, right? So they, so they definitely want to focus their mid laner. They want to give their mid laner the advantage. And again, I'm saying this could still be the Wind Ranger mid. Yeah. So will we see? If you're going with the push, you could still go with the Underlord. Underlord pretty tanky. Bristleback not doing too well in the drafts. Uh, I'm pretty stumped on on the pick for villains. It's it's difficult to predict what they're going to pick for their offlaner or or whatever. But this pick is going to be. So looking at a lot of magic damage. A lot of magic damage, damage. A lot of early game pick off. Uh, you do have that maledict from which Doctor probably the strongest thing he has in his arsenal, along with that paralyzing cask. Not to mention the alt. If you get the Agnum scepter off, I wanted to say the other thing is will. Could we see an alchemist being picked up for villains? Because a lot of heroes can benefit from the Agnum Scepter and the Juggernaut going to be picked up from Legion of Mephisto already revealing their oh. core that they want to run as well. 
Is this I mean, a support not, sector? They, they definitely not a council, the, the juggernauts. I mean, juggernauts, uh, juggernauts a safe pickup, right? Mm. But against the hero with Maledict, you have the shackle shot, you have a lot of stuns from villains. Yeah. Hopefully, Legion of Mephisto doesn't make the same mistake and actually builds those BKBs early in the in the game. They'll have to get some sort of pipe of insight, which Centaur Warrunner is very good at picking up as well. He can farm that the jungle a bit and make sure that they can have it. So the, this pick for for villains is probably going to be their safe lane core as well. Are you looking at PL? Are you looking at Phantom Assassin? You can't exactly go with the Phantom Assassin if you've got the Centaur War Runner. However, yeah. if you are able to play around perfectly in your team fights, again, the Chaos Knight is still there as well. Chaos Knight works perfect with the Witch Doctor. You have double stun in a lane. After that, you get the crit. He works well against an offlaner that pushes him because if he yeah. takes up the crit early. There's an August Siren. This is actually an interesting pick. They're looking at pushing these lanes. You know? This is a, this is a beautiful pickup for them. It's perfect. They uh, are. Yeah. They, they definitely want a team fight from villains. Stun, stun, root for villains. Yeah, the snare. They've also got the counter push of the Naga Siren. So, very good on them. Legion yeah. of Mephisto have to counter this draft now. And it seems like it's going to be Ooh. the Lich pickup. So, Lich, ju Lich Juggernaut, very good lane. You do have the shield. You do yeah. have the blade spin. You have 100% extra. You have 100% movement speed when you're doing the blade fury. And then you have the shield on you as well. The, however, it's... If, it's the Nyx Assassin in the offlane, hope, most likely with the Wind Ranger as well in the offlane. So you're not going to catch a lot of people off with that, which means that the Lich probably will have to go into the burst, taking up the Frost Blast early. Um, instead of the, the shield with the Sinister Gaze combo, um, I'm, still, I'm still not convinced about the Lich. However, you know, everyone's still taking damage from the bouncing from, from the bouncing alt. So even if Naga Siren does put everyone to sleep, if the alt is bouncing in between them, they're all losing a lot. Shadow Fiend being banned out and the Templar Assassin being banned out. Both teams actually still have to pick up their mid. So Dragonite is a staple that we know, but this could still be a Storm Spirit for Legion of Mephisto. If they have that just that bit of extra pick off, he can zoom in, get catch the right hero, and then get put the fight definitely in their favor. So Storm Spirit makes a lot of sense here. Not too much against all that stun. However, and you know, laning phase, laning against the next assassin, or still being able to be get picked off by the next assassin. You do have the mana drain. So potentially not the best hero. If he is able to position himself perfectly, it does make a difference. But you need yeah. to know that you're fighting at a bit of a disadvantage. Not a definite invis yet until the next assassin reaches his level six anyway. So it's not too worried. You're not too worried about it in the first ten minutes of the game, uh, unless there's a lot of pickoffs in the off lane, uh, yeah. which is a good potential. If the next assassin and the wind rangers in the off lane, like we suspect, it does mean that that lich could be their first. Uh, focus as well for the first blood. So yeah, could you possibly think that? And it is a storm no. spirit being picked up by Legion of Mephisto. Mm -hmm. So villains have to counter okay. this in the mid lane. Do you think they could possibly? Oh, the Silencer has been bad, unfortunately. But you still have the Viper as well. So mm, is Viper yeah, could do well, but um, I mean, in this case, uh, death, uh, Queen of Pain maybe or a. Queen of Pain does well against the storm spirit, but okay, and, and Queen of Pain has the burst damage. It works well yeah. with with. Uh, the Maledict as well, yeah. but I feel like they also need some sort of hero that can position themselves a lot better. Razor would have been perfect here, but Razor is banned out. Yeah. So the Dragon Knight is probably a good hero for them in the mid lane. Templar Assassin would have been okay as well. Not too good against the Storm Spirit in the lane potentially, but when you start fighting against all those heroes, she does do well because yeah. uh, you know the Refraction Charges does stay on a lot longer. Um, a very good ban out actually, but it's villains that ban it out for themselves where it could have had the advantage. I'm thinking it could just be the Queen of Pain or the Dragonite. That's the only two heroes that make sense to me right now. Yeah, Viper so. as well, but again, no Viper. That's not going to help very much, especially with the uh, Storm Spirit. Yeah, you can't, with the with the Storm Spirit, they can't really... Uh, no, and it's a Nether Toxin at level 25 silences, but that's, that's still late game. That's a bit way too late in yeah. the game. If the game goes that far, they have the late game for it. So it's going to be the Ember Spirit. Ember Spirit versus Ooh. the Storm Spirit. That can work, you know, especially you have the, the shield. Yeah, 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 you have the shield yeah. early up. But 
And there's not a lot of catch potential, actually, but if you do get caught with the Sinister Gaze, I've done it a few times in pubs even, where the Ember Spirit thinks he's going to get away, and then that Sinister Gaze just, it keeps you locked down for so long. So, definitely nice. a, a very good, sort of, it's going to come down to Lich. The Storm Spirit's also there, going to be able to zip in. You have to have quick reaction times with the Ember Spirit in this, uh, in this matchup. I'm not too convinced by the Ember Spirit, however, I am by the Naga Siren. So, definitely villains. Villains have a, uh, have a very well-rounded draft. It seems like mm -hmm. the only push that they have is the Naga Siren. However, the power shot from the Wind Ranger can do the same thing the unless they are fighting. Ember Spirit can also push lands as well yeah. as Naga Siren. That, he starts is, split pushing as well. Exactly. exactly. But then, After a while, if, that's, if yeah. that's what they're aiming for in order to get the victory, then that's perfect. If they're going into the late game, villains yes. have this, right? Yes. But if Legion of Mephisto are able to push a bit, which it seems like it's not going to be the case with the Juggernaut and then the Lich fo for going against, it is Moomon playing on that Wind Ranger and he is the offlaner. So it is going to be the offlane Wind Ranger with the offlane Nexus Assassin, a very good combo. If they can stun... If they can stun the Witch Doctor with the Spike Carapace and then have a Shackle oh, Shot yeah. to follow up, there's a yeah. lot of damage going into that. Uh, if they have the level 2 Mana Burn as well, it's it's pretty insane. But you do have the Paralyzing Cask along with that Maledict going into the game that you need to be aware of the whole time as well. So if it's just the two of you, you can't have the Paralyzing Cask bouncing in back and forth between you guys the whole time either. And you'll be going against the Juggernaut. So if a Paralyzing Cask is placed perfectly along with the Maledict, both of you are dead because of that Blade Fury follow up. Yeah, man. Spring Blade Fury, just especially countering the abilities that they push out. I mean, it depends if he has taken Blade Fury first. I'm not entirely sure if he has, but I guess depending on what's going on. Well, I could still. He, he did pick it up first. Uh, usually you would go for the Blade Dance as well because you have the early, uh, a bit early advantage. Is the shield up? It is. They're just going to contest this rune with this already, it seems. So, yeah, I think they're all going to play safe here. Yeah. Unless uh, Nyx Assassin comes to help with a stun bottom, you can already see what the lanes are a Drare, uh, um, a Wind Ranger with the Nyx Assassin in the safe lane by the looks of it. That is an interesting um, lane right there. It's an interesting combination there, isn't yes. the Spike Carapace picked up first, but it could still be the Impale as well. The option, the fact that you have the two options, but the fact that if you can counter-initiate early when the Paralyzing Cast comes out with that stun, you can follow up with another stun yes. on that with the Shackle Shot. So Wind Ranger doesn't want to pick up the Shackle Shot first, obviously, wants to get the Power Shot in. Because you're in the off lane, you need to have that farming potential but if it's if it give it gets you that first kill, so oh, it could make I mean, the that, difference. That's, that's all that matters at the end of the day. If they can get that kill early game already, it helps them with net worth. So we had a, an interesting discussion with uh, actually it was a forum page from the guys who created the Open AI Five, right? A lot of people know about them. So uh, it was it was at a stage where they first started creating the AI. It 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 got to a point where they had to sort of limit the rewards from getting hero kills because the bots would just go after hero kills in the beginning and they would they would stack as five and just go kill 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 and in some cases it would work but naturally if you're going up against a, a team that knows what they're doing a bit more it's not going to work that well so yeah, yeah. They actually had to nerf that, so it comes down to the discussion that we had now. If you if you have to take up the shackle shot in order to get the kill, hey, you're getting that extra kill. You're limiting the lich. It's going to be the wind run picked up first from because they they need to they want to make sure that they can get this wind ranger or, or this this ruin. But if the, the blade fury is still doing damage to you and that shield is doing damage to you, so top lane. Seem to be moving up. Both teams see each other. Paralyzing Cask is up first. It is going to be. Everyone's definitely got his silence um, passive ability up there, probably. No, no he's got the Miss Coil. That's interesting because yeah, just, that's a support he just has to. Why are you using Mist Coil in the beginning? I would assume the passive goes out as well, especially with the Centaur, but the Centaur. They want to get this, but the Naga Siren actually moving to get oh, their own oh. as well. Now a lot of damage going out onto Pawn Star here. He will get the stun off. They have to secure their ruin, and they will. So it is going to be three bounty ruins going in the favor of villains. That was a great play there from Jack. Very good as well. Doing a lot of damage, making sure that they use some of their region. But 
Well, it's still the Nyx Assassin. Nyx Assassin doesn't mind that too much. He is playing a support role, but making sure that they can secure those two ruins gives you a slight advantage, but it is going to come down to the mid lane in the, be in the beginning, sorry, already. Oh, I slight of fist on no, level one. Oh, well, it does do that extra damage. I mean, if you see uh, extra bonus hero damage, it's 40. It's quite a bit, actually. If you don't I think it comes down to you want to get the creep, and if you do get a bounce onto the Storm Spirit to do that extra damage as well, yeah. I mean, why not? It's 40 damage. Definitely. It's... It's enough, and then once you have that flame god, no, it's just a cool on down as well. on the slide of first is a little bit. It's actually way too long now, especially early game. I think you should have rather get got searing chains because searing chains does help for sure. Because the other argument that I wanted that I wanted to make when when I saw the draft first was if you have the flame god, you could go against the static remnants yes, because it's magical. Yes. So I was assuming that that was going to be the first pickup. It makes a lot of sense, but now the slide of first, it has its argument like we just had. I think you see so, at level 3 then um, Flame God will probably get pushed out. And he's going to try and I mean, he has to do it level 2, possible, right? Yeah. Flame God and then another Slide of Fist, level 4 Flame God into a Sing Chains. Things, but yeah. if the Storm Spirit positions these remnants perfectly, it's going to make the world's difference for him. Yes. So it's going to come down to Black and the decisions he makes in terms of his positioning. Now the All Flame, you have the Abaddon taking up the Mist Coil first with the Centaur. Now, we know Abaddon is strong because uh, the two support combos that kind of get played a lot in this meta is either two, is either two burst hero support heroes or it is a hero that has a lot of control and one that keeps them alive, like the Oracle with uh, you know something like the Lion or you have the Abaddon alongside a lot of the other heroes. So it's really good the armor reduction on the Novice Siren. Yeah, as well. Trying to get... In case that possibility does come by with the sensor or on that, that Naga is going to have to reduce that armor as much as possible. But it does come at the cost of his own health the whole time as yeah, well. Yeah, very true. So we mentioned that he is actually trying to keep the Switch Doctor at bay there, and that's yeah. the only reason why he got his miscall. It's just completely yeah. bash him out there. So the, the difference is the Naga Siren with the Riptide is actually doing a lot of damage in this wave because yeah. you can't push it. You, you can't push the wave if he has level 1 Riptide. Makes and he is farming it. He is getting his last hits and stuff as well. It's still 4 and 1 for the Centaur. 3 and 2 with the Ember Spirit actually a bit of advantage, advantageous for himself. But it's going to be the Searing Chains picked up level oh, 2. Wow. This is not what we expected from this Ember Spirit. Uh, the remnant is there. You do need that flame oh, god, my friend. You're taking way too much tower damage. You have to back off. There is no pot healing cell for him. That's going to so cost you. Juggernaut does have a disconnect for himself as well. Lich. This is this is the other thing that's going to be interesting for me. It means that Jeez. for Nyx Assassin... <laughs> for Nyx Assassin... Uh, Windranger... Nyx Assassin... The Lich would probably want to take up the Frost Blast next. It's not. It's arguable because you want to have the Sinister Gaze. It get, goes along with the Blade Fury. Blah yeah. blah blah. But uh, actually, blocking out this camp does it block out the camp? I can't see right now. So it shouldn't. No, it's just just missing it. Yeah. Both of the camps. Just to get well, the, the vision. The wall placing is very weird because normally people would place it closer to the rune side. Yeah, but you, you can still see the rune. You can still see the the movement yeah. coming in. So. Uh, if it's not blocking out a creep wave, it's definitely to just scout out when this uh, Juggernaut is starting to farm that small camp into the medium camp. So, yeah. again, a lot of damage being done to this Ember Spirit. He's, really getting his, he's trying to get his bubble up first. He's going to die in that process. If he doesn't sort himself out, he should have gotten Flame God instead because that would have saved him. Exactly. That's that's why we had the argument of yeah. taking the flame god. Flame god slide of fist makes sense, but flame god level one definitely against this magic damage. Mm -hmm. It is uh, the overlord is being pick, is picked up by the storm spirit as well. So you yeah. can't even move close enough to, to farm these creeps over here. So, well, but he spirit is still at the advan yeah. advantage with the four and two over the three and zero. But it's it's once the storm spirit reaches the level three, it's going to change because now you're going up against very strong static remnants where you could have had the level 2 in flame guard already in order to you know just give you a bit more magic absorption so from that. Nice. Storm Spirit is definitely looking on getting a pick off there right because his health is way too low he doesn't have enough regeneration at yeah. all. 
He's, he's, he's counting on Death Hunter being out of position. Now, the thing that I want to mention first is the damage is 175 on a Static Remnant, which is magical. And the Flame God level 2 absorbs 220 damage. Exactly. So you can absorb today. that yeah. and the damage from the Overload and still be able to make it, right? So... Yeah. Yeah, because it's forty damage. There's forty damage. One hundred and twenty makes it one hundred and sixty. Uh, with the with the attack from an auto attack, you know. So, arguably, it gets up to the one hundred and sixty. The one hundred and sixty mark. Oh, sorry, the uh, not even close to the two hundred and twenty mark. It's one hundred and sixty. It could arguably go up to one hundred and seventy to one hundred and seventy three. So the flame guard would be perfect. Just two levels in flame guard. One slide of fist and just play it out. Play it out casually. Get your farm because that's what you need to do. You need to make sure that you're farming this game at the uh, with, at the advantage. Uh, so when you start farming triangles, when you start split pushing lanes, you are efficient enough with it because yeah. you had a winning lane. It should be the winning lane for you. But probably going with some sort of uh, build, suggested build. So... Well, he's definitely going for that classic Ember Spirit build, getting that bottle as soon as possible. Yeah, I'm wondering if he's running the AI build and not, you know, just thinking to himself, what's the best way I win yeah. the lane versus the Storm Spirit? Because AI is not going to tell you that. <laughs> no, no, definitely not. I don't think it's at the stage where, uh, where it sort of goes, okay, the Ember Spirit is against the Storm Spirit and this is the best lineup. I think there's still a million... Billions more matches to be played before the AI actually gets to that um, that level. Yeah. That level, uh, you know, it could still be in the future, but it's definitely not in the short term future. Uh, with especially um, sort of lobby game match matches that are happening, you don't see it too often in pubs either. Anyway, so a weird set of choices for him. Yeah. But we'll we'll get off Ember Spirit's back so he can just prove that Nix he... is probably gonna have to rotate soon to help Ember Spirit because he is struggling. He's definitely struggling this far yeah. into the game already. Not even two minutes and he's struggling. It's because he doesn't have extra region. That's the only thing that's making that's him struggle. True. If I mean, he's, he's able to get the bottle up, but bottle is at six fifty. Yeah, you have five hundred gold. Range, sure. yes. It's not efficient enough. Yeah. So exactly. he would have been able to do it if he got his flame guard first. For yeah. sure. But unfortunately he did not. Safe lane actually looking weird with their levels compared to the safe lane down bottom. It seems like both these heroes. If you think about it, Abaddon's going to give uh, Ember Spirit a bit of a roll late game. Especially with these passive that's going to be up. He could if Three he gets the silence up. So, yeah, But this crazy. means you know Abaddon pr probably has to go into the, the Echo Saber, which is not happening because he's mm -hmm. in a support role. Yeah, true, true. But regardless, if he does that, the silence, I mean, Ember Spirit. Regardless, unless he has a BKB, yeah, he'll be fine. If he does not have that BKB and he lands that fourth hit, he's gone. Again, another thing that I'm hoping to see from from this dire side again is a quick pipe of insight. Yes, it's not going to happen on the Wind Ranger though. It's probably only the Ember Spirit that Nobody naturally builds one. Nyx Assassin, a hero that can, but you know, he wants it, to. Yeah. He wants to be able to build the, the damage items that he needs no, in order to get no. the pick offs. So definitely not going to be the Nyx Assassin. It's it's going to come down to to Nyx Assassin has to counter whatever this Lich is doing. He has to make sure that he can't get the last the the ultis off and everything as well. So yeah, yeah. But <laughs> some cockery marks on both uh, players from both sides. Yeah, <laughs> just giving some friendly banter there. Oh, Lord. So, it's a funny stuff. Back and forth. But <sighs> the other thing is, the other thing we need to mention is Naga Siren. Building Naga Siren is right, the hero that is going to start farming around the seven minute mark and building into the Radiance, building into a big Manta style, building into big core <coughs> items, having the Diffusal Blade. Yes. Uh, Diffusal Blade, what does Diffusal Blade bring them? Not a lot. It like just counts the storm spirit that much. It, uh, that much more. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, you need to do it, do a few hits on the storm spirit in order to catch him out. Maybe catch but him with a snake. Can't storm spirit through the Naga Siren. I think he can't yeah. go after it. He's, he's he rooted. can't. He can't use his ulti in the snare. In the snare. So yeah. 
if he's snared up and he has a few hits on him, maybe Diffusal Blade will be the first item we see from them. I mean, look at the ensnare. You look at the duration of it. Already at yeah. level one, it's two seconds of snare. Three, four, five. Anyone who's stuff. played any MOBA knows that is the longest two. You can that's someone can be pregnant in those two seconds, <laughs> and it will still be shorter than the time it takes you to press R and just zip out of there. So. Um, yeah. Definitely a very good pickup from them. Uh, the Storm Spirit was still the perfect pick for uh, for the side of Mephisto, but well, depending, uh, you know, if he has to have his positioning correct. He has to wait out the stairs. Right? Oh, he does. He does. Unfortunately, yeah. This he's definitely getting into his illusions first. He's gonna max out. He's max. He's but gonna max out his armor reduction. That's for sure. Yeah, so the only other, other thing I have, ones. though, is you have the mirror images next. Yeah. You're not going yeah. Yeah. So no, you yeah. have to start farming. Yeah. Um, That's going to be very overwhelming. Ensnare comes in level 4, five. Yeah. 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 yeah, definitely. So what's what's interesting as well is Storm Spirit's BKB timing. Because if he zips in and the Naga Siren holds, he's just dead as well. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because then after that, the ensnare is definitely going to come out. So you have to bait out the snare, bait out the Naga Sar Siren ult. And I mean, you can still jump in the back lines. If you can catch that Witch Doctor off, it's it's very perfect. Some so, cocky remarks here from Ember. Yeah. He's really definitely going, going, you know. <laughs> yeah, you, you kind of, uh, <laughs> you're kind of a bit on the back foot there, my friend. You Had you picked up the Flame Guard, oh, you yes. could be cocky, but... Uh, it's no definitely going to make a difference yeah, for them. definitely got enough mana to pick off him. For sure. So, uh, with that, the team's not building a pipe of insight on any side anytime soon, except if the Centaur does go for it, but he'll probably go for the Crimson Guard because of the Naga Siren and the Ember Spirit. Yeah. Uh, even because of the Wind Rangers, uh, the Focus Fire and stuff that's coming down. So, Lich Alt will be a very good bounce for the Radiant side when they start team fighting because that pipe of insight's not going to be up. The Crimson Guard's going to be up first. Well, I mean, depending on what they're looking at, but That's they don't have that. They don't have that double lockdown. Uh, so the so the thing is, they just want to get the lich giving the juggernaut a good lane, and after that being after that just being annoying. No, that's all the Lich is going to do. He's just going to he's going to pop his ult in the middle of a team fight and be like, okay, now you guys have to run away or you have to start exactly. scattering I mean, up. If the glamour up. does come in between when 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 um, uh, Dragon Ball does decide to use Blade Friend, he comes in between just just yeah to, yeah to defuse that entire ability. It does it does come entire. down to the slow a lot as well. Though. Yeah, so true, true. It's going to be a bit of difference. We'll have to see what this what oh, this lich brings to the table. Um, the again, <laughs> yeah, I'm interested. I'm interested to see what happens when. Such a solid lane push up there from bottom. Yeah, so black. He's trying to get it up. I wonder if he'll go for the electric vortex just to get. Mm. Oh, I highly doubt it. He's got his overload level two now. He has to, right? Yeah, because um, he doesn't have flame god up yet, so he's definitely going to go for the magic damage. Yeah. It does mean that he needed the extra mana regen, maybe, but... Oh, no, he needs a lot of regeneration in general. But he's close, he's very close to um, his bottle. I mean, literally, he needs 80 more. And then he's got his bottle. Yeah. Shame. So... The mid lane is going to be the interesting one to pick up. Uh, yeah, overlay, overlay, just, just going overlay. on the whole time. You can't, you can't even go for the denies anymore. And now the Storm Spirit, 9 and 0, you're at 6 and 2. You're at a disadvantage from level 2. That's where the Flame Guard should have been picked up. Picking up a second level in Slider Fist. This is... That's not a good deal. He's really going to invis there. Oh, wow. Wanted to do something. But it's keeping him back there because he knows he's, he doesn't have enough damage on him. No. And he's using, he's using the Slider Fist to try and... Back oh, up. just missing him, but he's still got his overload. He's going to use it. Oh, he's using it on a creep instead. He's still farming. He has to farm. Oh, wow. That's not a really good pick, uh, pick there from Ember Spirit. Definitely not worth it. No for flame him. He's not going to be able to farm. 
but like I said, we'll get off his back now and just let him farm, do, prove us wrong. So next assassin being level two, this, the stun is going to be there. The mana burn was being the big, the biggest thing because if you're annoying this lich, the wind run's going to be there. The stun, Ooh, oh, almost, <laughs> almost. Are they giving the warning? They just throw the bug off. Yeah, they yeah. wanted if they got the stun off there with the wind oh, run, and then after that a power shot, it would have meant a lot. That's what they're trying to set up here as well. Uh, they're definitely faking their moves, yeah. Yeah, but lich being level three, and the blade fury is going to come out, but move on again. Not does have the wind run, so is able to escape now. The burst damage is going out onto the wow. next assassin. He doesn't have the spike carapace, does have the mana burn still, but you want to mana burn this lich the whole time. See, he's just controlling his mana. Yeah, no, if you can control the mana for the juggernaut next, which oh, is what he's doing, that blade fury is not going to mean a lot for them, and they won't be able to push out the lanes or even threaten to kill as much as they would have liked to. The maledict is going to go out onto the oh. abaddon, that's not going to be enough. Just making sure he stays out of the lane. Get yeah, away from me. The if Abaddon does, does get enough XP in the lane, it will cause issues. Yeah. The bottle now being up for Ember Spirit. I so know the bottle is up for you, my friend, but you still need that. You need the two levels in Flame Guard. So, and then you're almost level 5. You can't waste your level 6 on a Flame Guard. You so just really need the two levels. XP because you moved out of the lane. Yeah, so first blood gonna go down bottom. This is what we what we said they wanted to set up with the mana burn and then the power shot. It was actually just the wind run. They could still do it with this power shot. There is gonna be a stun. They're trying to dodge it. Oh, wow. It does, and the power shot's gonna be there. It lands on the lich, but the lich <laughs> still has a bit of regen from the tower from that uh fountain, so Yeah. Well that fountain was forced now, so Bottom fountain is down. Oh, did he go to fountain? Main base fountain. Main fountain, yeah. So yes, obviously once you TP you still have a bit of you still have a bit of uh, regen. So the shield gonna be used here. Yeah, they are contesting for this five minute Ooh, ruin. The burst. It's gonna be the burst, but now you don't have a lot of mana. He does actually opt to go for the rest. He they wanna get the stun, get the stun off. The shackle shot is gonna be there, the second stun is to follow up, and that's gonna be a power shot. Neutral creeps. Oh, that was a fail. Neutral creeps actually <laughs> getting the kill up to this lich. He could be very lucky there. He could. I mean, that's uh, XP and or gold you know gold really. that's not going in the favor of the Wind Ranger. Mm -hmm. But he's still dead. Way. He is still out of the lane. He's yeah. not getting the, the experience that he needs. Is your Nyx is farming up a lot. Uh, your Nyx is leveling up a lot Flame better. Guards. Flame Guard still not picked up. Level three slider oh, first. So Death Hunt is just saying. Okay, you got level 2 and 3, but I'm going to take level 5 and 6 and just burst you down to the point where you have to start backing out. There is a bottle being used here. So, Did refresh we'll just the try up already. Uh, so, he set up hotkeys to move oh, back and forth. Hot so. mm. Probably <laughs> thinking he did that. That's so, horrible. Why? Yeah. So Juggernaut actually almost level six, because he was alone in the lane a lot. The Lich was not there. He was still farming. Level four on both. Oh, Nyx Assassin actually not being level four. That neutral camp kill just denied him a lot. The shackle is there. It does land. The power shot's gonna follow up. They just need a second stun. The shield is gonna be there, but the stun will miss. Oh, wow. Way too much damage, no. and now a lot of damage going on to Nyx. He still needs that level four in order he's to get the spike yeah. oh, He did spot the jug there, but he's rather not going to initiate it. Yeah, this Abaddon needs to do a lot more in the lane as well. Oh, he is. He's keeping that witch doctor at bay there. No, no darts. He does, but it's not meaning a lot for the center. They will probably use the apothecary shield. Oh, they are stacking okay. again. Will they get it? Yo, 58, 59. Wow, that's insane. That's, that's a beautiful a stack. stack. So they'll just use the Apothecary Shield to farm that up. And that's beautiful for this uh, Centaur. He'll be able to get that Blink Dagger in no time. One that he wants pretty fast. If the Shackle Shot lands, come on. Nope. Uh, I think this is a little bit too close to their tower. They need to, they need to make, he still needs to make sure that Moomon uh, farms up here. So. No doubt. He's getting it right. He's got his Null Talisman up for the. Um, Arrow shot there. Seeing chains not landing on the Storm Spirit. Storm Spirit TPing top. They want to get the Switch Doctor, but now they just say, okay, we need to take this camp. They already know that this camp is heavily stacked, so 
Use the shield, my friend. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, they just clear this up. That's going to be That's in separate. the favor of both of them. Look at that XP gain that the Storm oh, yeah, Spirit yeah. got. Centaur War Honor almost getting his level 6. The Maledict is going to be there. Oh, wow. The cask oh, is going to bounce between two. It's going to follow up. Let's just going to be able to get the shield off. But the Naga Siren, the Riptide Bless is there up. now. The ulti is going to be used by the Storm Spirit. You oh, don't have a lot to follow geez. up. But the Searing Chains is going to be there as well. That's going to be a dead wow. Storm Spirit. You just wasted a lot of it. And you also take down the Centaur War Honor. That means that... All the XP that they just farmed was pretty uh, much for nothing. Well, basically, I mean, they didn't get much gold out of it, but they did get enough XP. The stun is going to be there. The slider fist, the swing change, there's a nag, but the cask is going to be there. It does bounce a second time. The maledict is going to be there as well. There should be enough. One more slider fist, and I the mean, deny no. is going to be there. He used that... And just that one missed coil, and That's it crazy. was enough to deny himself with it. That was that was beautiful. Yeah, play. It was. That was actually well done from everyone. Yeah. Although they're still missing out on a lot of XP, they're zero for four at the moment. Naga Siren is level seven. Yeah, you do have the double Look at that. illusions. Illusions is a mana reduction. It's exactly what we are aiming for. Yeah, yeah, the Diffusal early. Blade was uh, is being picked up early, like we said. You get the Snare on yeah. the Storm Spirit. Storm Spirit is not the only thing that's threatening you, though. But the Juggernaut also can use Blade Spin, but he can't get out with the Blade Spin. Shackle Shot's not going to be able right, to. But he's level six. But Juggernaut, he does have the Blade Spin. I feel like this is the this is where the Wind Ranger having an orb of venom makes a bit of sense. Oh uh, yeah, right. Okay. Because you're forcing the juggernaut to then take one level in the healing mode no, if Ranger's he got wants two to. Talismans up. Yeah, that power shot's gonna deal that's, a lot of damage. That's a little he's maxing that out. It's three percent, three percent, three percent of three hundred and fifty. You do the math because I'm not going to. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Not the maledict gonna come out on top. The cask is gonna be there. And the riptide. They're just r ripping through this uh, centaur war on it. It's insane. Much you can do there after that. I mean, you have the armor reduction. You have the sixty damage, and then the duration is still four seconds on it. Abaddon. They're trying to do a lot of damage with this miscoil, but the apothic shield. The apothic shield is not the one doing the pushing like we thought they would. The Bottom rune. They're contesting these runes now. Storm Spirit does pick up the one on their side. They're looking to get the pick off on the Witch Doctor, maybe. Doesn't have enough mana regen. And now he's back to his Naga Siren, so he can't down bottom though. The shield is going to be used, but you keep missing the stun with this Nyx Assassin. So that's the problem with Impale. It doesn't work like the Lion's Ult where you can sort of focus a hero. It lands where you tell it to land that first time. The Searing Chains is not going to land. Latch oh, on wow. to you though, but that haste ruin is going to be able to do a lot and of damage. The Searing damage. Chains is going to be there. And it's oh, like wow. this. He just gets a double kill, way too much Space damage from the Wind Ranger. Power Shot was used, lowering them both down. And this Ember Spirit definitely nice. making us eat so our good words one right one now. Charges. That was a crazy kill from Ember. So he knew he had the disadvantage. He still doesn't have a Flame Guard. I swear he's, he's doing it just to prove a him. point right now. Looks like it's working for him right now. If he had, I mean, if he had. I think late game, he's definitely going to have it. He's also pretty much. Yeah, so he's, uh, he'll probably look to build into the Battle Fury. He has the Phase Boots. Uh, yeah. Maybe a Drums of Endurance into the Battle Fury, but if you can go the Battle Fury, you've just got a double kill down bottom. So you're 0 and 7, 4k net worth lead. I'm assuming you could queue it up, but he is queuing up that Maelstrom rather. So Battle Fury, you're going to be queued up for the Juggernaut, though. Nyx Assassin, only level 5. Once you reach level 6, it's going to make the world's difference. This Lich is a bit behind, so he doesn't even have one level in the Sinister Gaze. It seems like he's also going with the standard uh, AI suggested build, the Blade Spin. It's going to be used here on the Nyx Assassin. He has the Spike Carapace, so you can set up with the Spike Carapace. Oh, wow. It is going to be a stun. They are, do have the Shackle Shot. The Impale is there as well. Mana Burn could be used, but the Alt is going to be used by the Juggernaut. The Wind Run is going to be enough to save her, and the Focus Fire is still on her, and that is going to be enough. Oh, that was actually crazy. Fiendish. Nice. That was a beautiful kill for that them. That was. Putting them at a 0 and 8 advantage 12 minutes into the game. It's actually... <laughs> it's, 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 it's a gap and a half, eh? It's, it's, it, it makes the world's difference. Level 9 on the Naga Siren. Farming with these illusions is insane. It's not even... The power almost has the Diffusal Blade. Exactly. Not even going for that magic wand. He's just saying, you know, I'll just build the Diffusal and then my mana will sort itself out. Because if I have the 4 illusions, I'll, it'll be enough. Storm Spirit farming up. He is looking to get that silence stick up. For, oh, actually, the Kaya into the silence. Never Spirit does have the arcane rune on him. 
Mm, Ember is really just trading on down there. He's just like, fuck you guys, I'm not going to build Flame God because you said I couldn't do it yeah. without it. <laughs> Definitely, <laughs> that's insane. That no, no doubt. <laughs> so, uh, again, let's, he's level 5 and there's no sinister gaze on him. It's because of the Nyx Assassin with the with the the Wind Ranger, oh, well, but yeah. it still seems like a focus fire is going to wow, be used. Oh, look at the damage! Even through that shield, oh, look, oh, stunned to done. follow up. Oh, there we go. That was a great kill from Imon. Yeah, that was insane. Well spotted. It means they have a. They don't have a so ward. He just scouted the there. position through this oh, swarm. Really? The Lich yes. actually pin, pinged him out, but he didn't move, which was weird as well. But he didn't want to move closer to the to the, to the the trees so that yeah. he can get a shackle off. He just said, you know, I'll stay here. If he gets the shackle, I'll still be able to move, but it wasn't enough centaur or war on it trying to shackle actually get out. The altar is going to be used here by the Witch Doctor, and the yeah, TP is going to go out as well. Abaddon, the alt, gets procced. Good waste there. Bit of a waste. He propped it himself, so. Yeah. I mean, that's a new thing that I learned now. Whenever Abaddon's using his ult, he can just miss call. It kind of gives the ult back. Yeah, it does. So yeah. instead of doing damage to yourself, gaining some life, Storm Spirit. They're looking to get the Switch Doctor definitely going ooh, on ooh, there. Ooh, down that, bottom, ooh. Darkness Monster it's goes down. Around. The Maledict is going to be used, and that is going to be dead just from the overpower yeah. alone. But the Ember Spirit's farming. Next assassin is very low, but they get the kill on the Juggernaut as well. So your Lich just died. You get Juggernaut. Oh, it's so 1 and 12. 7k net worth lead. Next assassin. Oh, it's 1 for 12. It's it's crazy. There's Lung not much they can do at this moment. They used the old. Oh, they wanted to set up maybe with the Ember Spirit coming in, but deciding to rather TP out the Slider Fist. Is there a double damage? The Searing oh, Chains. Wow. The Slider Fist is still not being used. And. It's the slider fist is just being used in, in case to to, to, um, to actually kill. wanting to go after this storm spirit. The sinister gaze is still not on Lich, and that's the only thing you have to sort of save you from it's got this. Twelve charges still. Yeah, twelve charges oh, again. He's going to get out of there. Yeah. yeah, he has to. Oh, he just used his his one now. It's to get himself the mana if anything happens. Also, he does have the bottle, so. Yeah. Yeah. True. Juggernaut is still farming that Battle Fury, so he's doing pretty well for himself. Blade Fury is going to be used. He has he forces out the Wind Run from the Wind Ranger. Now the pick off on the Witch Doctor again. This will be perfect. The cask is going to be used. The Maledict oh, is there. Not enough damage that, going no, out. It's just not going to be enough. It's not just that. It's it's Trying about the bottle as well. Now Moomon, he does have the Shackle, does have the Focus Fire, uses the Wind Run for good measure. The ult comes out from the Centaur, but it's not enough. Not a chance. Now, a lot of damage going out onto this Naga Siren. The Reptile is going to be there. The Snare is going to be there. You're going to probably oh, give up your cool. life now. Powers doesn't have the other, the next Miss Coil coming up. What? Just you, you, just, you should have used that a oh. bit earlier, though. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. No, but just way it's not enough high. damage anymore. Oh, it's not enough damage. 150. Yeah, he's just too far. You probably should have rocked it down mid lane now. Instead, it's oh, wow. going to be there, the jump from the remnants, and that's going to be enough. Spirit just pops there. Yeah, bottom lane. They're pushing this tower. The Juggernaut, you died You died a few times already now, my friend. So the Ember Spirit came, came back, eh? and it was just like, wow. The stun is also going to follow up. There is going to be the shield. The cask is going to be used. Maledict is going to be there. They're looking to do a lot of damage now. The Lich doesn't have enough mana for the ult. The power oh, shot's going to be there. Days. The healing ward's not going to be enough. Just too little, too late. And Abaddon moving in. Team Probably team at the bottom, yeah. Yeah, the team. Three they, three. they need it's the last tier one standing for the dire side, so they yeah, need to get it. Windrun is still up on this wind ranger, so don't even try. The sinister gaze is still not being picked up, and even if it was, you still have a lot of mana issues. The cars are just gonna bounce between these two the whole time, making sure that they can stay safe. Thor actually moving down here with the Centaur War and now trying to pressure the tier one tower for the dire side, but the Naga Siren is still free from it. Spot looking so good for. Um, well, you have the Kaya up. Yeah, he's got it so far. So far. After that, the Orchid. Orchid could make a difference. It's yeah, not going to make a difference. Orchid will help a lot. Wow, the Slide of Fist going to be used, connecting on that Searing Chains. The stun to follow up makes the Ember Spirit. Flame Guard is already used there. How much magic damage to be done? 
but he does get the kill on Darkness Monster anyway. Black still trying to farm. The next Assassin is still here, my friend. So does pop the Apothecary Shield. The Spike Carapace is there for good measure. They wanted to get the Shackles Sharp, and it's Shackles Sharp to, to a corpse. So that mana break was crazy. In our bottom, the Naga Siren even gets this. The net worth is at 9k for this Naga Siren. Way ahead of... It's it's almost double that of the closest competitor, which is this... Oh, look at the Naga Siren's going straight for it. Blade going to be used oh, wow. at ulti. Not much... Uh, Borrowed time. Proct. Proct. So... Mm, seems to run just has to back out. Mm, it's accompanying name. She does TP bottom lane. Straight through to the... And, well, their tower. Good fortify use. <laughs> their power shot was useless, but you're just delaying the inevitable for them. Now they need to get farm. They need to start getting farm. Now the Ember Spirit. Ooh, he does have the side of fist ready. The Searing Chains also. Flame Guard as well. He, well no, if he can nothing. get all three of them. If he can get all three of them. But there's no help there. I don't think he's going to initiate. But there's no borrowed time either. There's no ult from the Centaur as well. The Searing Chains is going to be there. Now they'll use the Vortex. The Spin is there for good measure. The Ember Spirit, he does get out, but it's not enough. The Zip's going to be there from the Storm Spirit. A very good pickup for them. A very needed one. A seven kill streak ended. 620 gold. Actually, a thousand gold in total, but you are going to pay. Darkness Monster's going to fall. Centaur dropping very low. If this next Assassin is able to just get the, lot, the one hit on him, he will do it now. Come on. You have to do it. Gets oh, wait, the impale after oh, they had nice. the mana burn, and it's going to be Pawn Star getting the kill. Ooh, he has to get out now. No, he's going to be out of there. Next Assassin, what are you doing, my friend? What, you still what, have the Spike Arapus. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, he does. Oh, now he taking does. way too much oh, damage. The stun is there. The Apothic Shield is there. They will have a Mistquoil oh, to follow what? up. Dropping very low as the Apothic Shield does bounce. Oh, the Cask is now what? there. The Maledict is going to be used as well, and the Storm Spirit does fall for it. Power Shot coming there. Power Are you shots? looking at a power shot? Yes, you have to do it. A power shot <laughs> cool <laughs> even Now the shackle shot, Ooh. just for good measure, the power shot is there. Now oh, the ulti bouncing there. from the lich in between the two of them. It could be enough! Not yet. There's just one more burst going to be used. The frost blast, and it's going to be uh, enough to get the lich to double kill, which is actually nice. perfect for them. They do use the ult from the centaur war runner as well, but this, Nick, this naga siren... I was pushing that bottom. horribly there. There's not much they can do about this. The Fusil Blade is there. Will destroy the ward. That's very good. You don't mm, see that often from the teams uh, at this level, but in pro levels, they know that they need oh, it. The ult's wow. going to be used, but then you have the Mirror Image. It was actually better now, but the Fusil Blade's going to be used now as well. The Snare's not there, but the Naga Siren it, ult oh, is wow. there, will be used, and will just TP out. Oh, and that's so that's annoying. You are so close to getting her. <laughs> Since I'm on it. wasting those TPs completely. Yeah, the next assassin is here, does get the first, does get the stun, the mana burn is there, slide of fist, and that's going to be enough. Death Hunter does get the kill along with the same chains used, so it is actually going to be the Daedalus picked up first from the Ember Spirit. No Battle Fury, just going straight for the damage, for the crit damage, wants to get the crit damage onto everyone. With the really looking at ending this game as early as I can. Yeah, this slide of fist going to be used, uh, just bouncing back. The next assassin, however, is it a slight bit of trouble. I say that with the slider fist still there. They do deny the mid tower. Naga Siren's oh working her way through these uh, shrines now. Yeah. 15k net worth advantage for the side of villains. 6 and 25. 21 minutes into the game. The Diffusal Blade's up. Look at the that Daedalus is almost up. The, the Crystalis is almost up. The Crystalis is up on the Ember. Oh, sorry, the Daedalus is almost up. Yes. On the yes. Ember. Um, what do you do? You get the Heaven's Halberd. It's not going to help you. You get the Silence Stick. You have to finish this Orchid. You have to finish this Orchid. As quick as possible. Before you can, can pick off the Ember Spirit. It helps you pick off the Wind Ranger. There's a good stun initiation. They have that... Um, the Blink Dagger being used, the Pothic Shield actually, the Maledict is not on him, so the Centaur will use the War Run, the play Spin is going to be used there, the Focus Fire was enough to get that kill, there is no ult from the Juggernaut, but it doesn't seem to be necessary, Naga Siren dropping very low as well, they have to push this tower, and Darkmost Monster does get to generate a 5 times kill streak actually ended for them, and there's no racks being taken just yet, the Slider Fist is still there, Lich doing a lot of damage actually. 
does do, does use a buyback for this does have the alt still as well so definitely a good defense from this radiant team so looking at the kai on the leech do you think that's already valuable item for leech i mean it makes sense right so yeah with the mana reduction cost i mean that does help at the end of the day but that and the am uh the 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 main that it actually gives where is this kai now Get to below, uh, so there we go. So the 6% spell amplification, 12% mana cost and mana loss reduction. So if you they use the mana burn on you, 12% of it's wasted. Didn't use the slider fist there, but did use the searing chains. Which the is shield weird. will definitely have a turn out. So Kaya makes sense on the Lich. It's not something that you would want to go for too early. I mean, the four staff makes a lot of sense because you want to be able to get your teammates out, but... Okay, surely it makes sense right now with the Sinister Gaze being picked up as well. Yeah. But you don't have Mana Boots even yet. So the Kaya is the first That's item for the Lich. The Orchid is done for the Storm Spirit. We hopefully will see a lot more... A lot better pick-offs and team fights from the side of the Radiant. They need to stop moving quickly. That slide of pursuing chains is not going to oh. be able to hold them in place. Now the Ember Spirit, you are silenced up. The stun is also there to follow up, and they're going to be able to take down this Ember Spirit. But the but the cask is there. The shackle shot. The apothic shield was popped as well. Borrowed time was used. The Lich Alt does bounce very well. They still need to use this Naga Siren Alt, but they're just pushing back in. The Riptide's enough. The buyback's going to be there from the Centaur War Runner, but you're the only one in this fight. The Impale's going to be there. The Mana Burn, you're not going to be able to survive, and that's going to be a dieback. And they'll just be able to push this Rax now as they Triple do get kill, the kill yeah. onto Fiendish as well. No buybacks. That's extra okay. buybacks it's expended good, yeah. because it's pretty useless at this stage. There is a buyback on the Juggernaut, but you'll be the only one defending this. You're just going to drop this Rax and hopefully move on to the next, but this Naga Siren's already taking care of this mid lane tower, and then the bottom lane Rax should be pushing in next. And this could just be game. This could just be the end. This could be the only top Rax down here. They get the metal Rax. Next. No, they move out because the Storm Spirit's back. They know the Storm Spirit's back. Abaddon is also so back. And they oh, call it. GG. The GG was used. So, no, well played to freaking... Well played to villains. Very good pick off. The Storm Spirit seemed to have the advantage in the lane. Ember Spirit definitely making us swallow our words. Oh, now. Yeah. So, <laughs> very well played from them. Very well played from villains. They had the good push. They did exactly what they wanted to in the beginning of the game. So... Yeah. Very well played to them. Yeah, and this is really proving us all wrong there with his uh, no need for flame guard. No need for flame guard. <laughs> yeah. I don't give a damn about. I don't give a damn about the usage of uh, no of, of those remnants. Managed. You know, I'm yeah. just gonna I'm just gonna tank them in the beginning and then. And he know, did it. He managed. He did manage. He did do well. Eight, yeah. two, and five on him. Eleven k net worth. Very well played. Very well played from both teams. Villains are victorious in this. So. Uh, we want to thank you guys again for tuning in. This is the Elsa League. We will be bringing you a lot more Dota during the week. Hopefully you can stay tuned, check us out, and yeah, just tune in tomorrow.